Hello everyone and welcome to a random gameplay of... Mario Kart 8! Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I figure this would be like the ultimate test of the Power Ray controller. Since I showed you how it was in the other place of the video that I made yesterday. And, and I have played all the tracks, but not all the cups. I was kind of like jumping around on various things, like I really wanted to get to a 200cc star. <laughs> Plus I got other games I was working on as well, I got more curious about them since I seen the other tracks and I kind of put this aside, so I was like, okay, I'm getting back to this. I'm gonna be anti-guy, shy guy, and... yeah, whatever. <laughs> just, just click through it. So, okay, flower cup, I did not expect to get three stars, but maybe, maybe I'll be able to get first place. So 200cc, pretty dang fast. <laughs> if you wouldn't have expected that, because the fat line, the higher the cc's, the faster it is in Mario, and 200 is kind of, kind of unique to the Mario karting, as it typically only went up to 150 for the longest time. So here we go. I got my buttons mapped. <laughs> Let's go! And that was a pretty good boost. And I'm gonna try and take the turns as tight as I can, but I will have to use my brake periodically because this is 200 cc. So yeah, it's it's a little bit, little bit like tappy tappy of the breaky breaky as you're going. So roll your finger over there, or, you know, map it to one of your back buttons on your Power Ray controller if you've got one of the enhanced variety. <laughs> that will work too. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of like using this controller. It feels very, very good, so... Yeah, I've been... I've been using it for a bunch of stuff lately just to see how... Okay, uh, yes, I escaped the red shell by gaining a place. <laughs> oh, I did not break early enough, though. I did not break early enough, but yeah, it's a very comfortable controller. Maybe because I'm, I got used to the uh, Joy Cons, which kind of aren't comfortable <laughs> depending on the game that you're playing. Like if you're just holding it with your fingertips and you're only needing to press a couple of buttons, it's all right. But when you have to press a whole bunch of buttons, like the all the shoulder buttons, the face buttons, and all at once, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I use. <laughs> my megaphone properly ah oh, but I couldn't avoid that one um, so yeah the uh, uh, as I was saying about the joy cons that's part of why I got the power e controller was because it was like oh no not the combo <laughs> it was because it was kind of like eh, eh, it's, it's, it's it just felt crampy <laughs> like for certain games depending on how I had the to hold it. And yet, and I haven't felt that way for a long time with any Nintendo controller. And yeah, so I mean, while the Joy Cons do allow you a, a much greater range of motion, stuff like that, and different ways to play and stuff, but they're so small! <laughs> That was a decent race, I guess. I had some trouble near the end there, but it was kind of going back and forth the whole way through. But yeah, the, as I was saying, Joy-Cons, very small, like, playing them sideways are okay if you're just using the analog sticks or D-pads, well, it, 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 sort of D-pad, the arrow number, <laughs> arrow keys, and, uh, but if you're adding, like, the shoulder buttons to it, like, on, on the top there, then you've got to grip more into it, and it's a little bit thinner in that feel, and yeah, it just kind of, kind of, I don't know, <laughs> I just, I, I feel like I never truly got used to that, you know? You know? So that's part of why I got Power A here, well, I should say a Pro Controller here in general, because I was looking for something that had a, a bit more grip for those sorts of scenarios. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll just take a look, see around. This one's this one's relatively cheap. It's like 35 bucks off of Amazon or something like that. And that's far cheaper than the official controller, a pro, official Nintendo Pro controller, which has D-pad issues. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's give it a try. And I am super pleased by this. Like, I I typically don't get anything third party because I'm usually so 
Nintendo centric with with what I get. Like, it, I always get first party whatever, and not just like third ooh, third party license stuff or like that. I don't know why. It's just like I, I guess I've always felt totally satisfied with. The, the first party stuff, and I was like, okay, I don't really need need any more than this. I'm I'm good to go. But in this case, I'm just no. Nope, I, I I wanted a pro. <laughs> I felt like I needed a pro this time, and I am quite happy I did. And I am super super far ahead here somehow. I'm like three four seconds ahead. I don't know how I managed that unless they're having more trouble with the 200 cc speed than I am. But <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of the 200 cc's. Just kind of going along, having a good time, just relaxing, reacting, and we are good to go, I guess, as long as I stay calm, don't panic, and ever so gently tap that brake button every so often. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I thought I could have crossed the finish line before it hit me, but nah. I had I had so much leeway against them. I was like, meh, eh. I'm still not in first place because of that first race, but eh, we're okay. I'm certainly not getting a three star ranking now. But <laughs> three stars, you gotta get like all perfect first place wins. Plus, I think you have to be in first place for most of the race or have a low enough time or something like that. It's there's a bunch of like hidden requirements that they don't really specify, because I've gotten, um, at least in our other Mario Kart games, I, I think, I, I've gotten all first places, but still only had two stars, so I, I don't know exactly what the requirements are for getting three stars, I just know you have to do really well, and sometimes the items that get thrown your way doesn't really allow you to do that well. <laughs> Especially when the computers decide to do the old gang up red shell, blue shell combo on you. And yeah, so. It, it, yeah, that, that's kind of what I was talking about when I, I was. I meant like the. the uh, annoyingly unfair nature of more Mario, modern Mario Kart games. Uh, don't, uh, don't count Super Mario Kart on the SNES, because that one. Holy poopers! Are the computer AIs unfair? <laughs> it's unreal. They've got unlimited items. They've got rubber banding. <laughs> They've got the ability to turn on a dime regardless of how tight a course is. Uh, oh, how tight a course is. So yeah, I'm talking like later ones after say. Uh, N64 one, because N60... Ah, oh, shoot, boo, boo! Oh, okay, fine, I'll take the lower up. But yeah, the N64 one had major rubber banding as well. But then after that, it seemed to be... seemed to be a lot more balanced overall. And then we... And then we went into Team Up on PK Gam Item Town with the... <laughs> with the, uh... Oh, I should use it to go between the bookcases. I forgot about the shortcut. Um... Yeah, when they do like a red shell, blue shell combo for first placers, that seems to happen so frequently, it seems to be a program thing. So, yeah. Oh! oh I just, for once, I took a turn too tight on, on, <laughs> on 200 cc's. I'm gonna drop up my bananas to, behind me to try and cycle them out here. Yeah! How did I miss an item block? <laughs> Ah, uh, poopers. Ah, oh, poopers. That I should really take the lower route there. <laughs> oh man, fifth again. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot to get used to when it comes to 200 CC. Actually, I'm not doing that badly, but eh, 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 I'll get the feel of it eventually. I just gotta play this more, basically, to get to understand how 200 CC feels. Cause I've been playing. 150 cc's on all the Mario Kart games is out typically it's max for the longest time and then it, they threw in the 200 they really threw you off but since I've gotten used to 150 for so long I'm used to playing with those physics and speeds so now we have the learning curve of 200's field <laughs> oh break 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 yes feather that break <laughs> Just gentle little tappers. Gentle little... Okay, more than just the gentle one there. <laughs> oh, I mistimed my 
I jumped. I was a little bit late, so I didn't jump at all. Feather, feather, feather. Okay. <laughs> Must gently break. Must fly through the air. Well, it's actually more like glide through the air. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That was almost over the edge. We're good, though. We are decent, actually. Ooh. As long as I get first place here, I'm guaranteed a third, but maybe I can offset the uh, first and the second place peeps so I can get ahead of them in points in general. Maybe. Maybe. I wouldn't count on it, though. I was over-breaking there, and you know, I got caught up a little bit. But I also got shelled, so that's, a, that's another factor. <laughs> it makes me wonder if I should do a trick on that that other one there, because I, I have so much speed after I do a trick there that I end up ramming into the wall, even though that I'm holding the brake. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so I'm gonna aim for over the left side here, yeah, because I get. Oop! Yeah, because I got that little cliff that I almost flew over. <laughs> and, oh, jeez! Okay, we're good. <laughs> well, we're sorta of good. We're sixth place, but. Well, ninth place. The, 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 the places switch so fast, though, it's, it's kinda hard to. Kinda hard to put a. Uh, why did I use a mushroom there? That was stupid. It's kinda hard to. Put a guess into as to what you're getting. See, this is where I wonder if I should. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I should do a trick there. Maybe not. It's just like it feels. It feels like that. That's a really tight turn for 200 CC with with doing a little booster there. Use the powers of the mushroom to declutterify my screen. Look up. Look how close everyone is. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get ahead on the straightaway here. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> That's what I mean. It just flips around so quickly. Okay, I got a silver. Not bad. Not bad at all. But still needs more practice to get the gold. <laughs> and three stars. <laughs> Let's see. Our ending screen after the loading screen of boringness. Not even anything to play around with, like on Wavery's Blue Storm. Ah! Ah! So yeah, I thought this would be pretty fun to make a random gameplay of, since I just made the the video yesterday with this included, with the Power E controller and whatnot. I thought, okay, I'll, I'll play with it in a random gameplay to show that, yeah, this, this controller is pretty nice! <laughs> oh, look at that! 5151! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the controller and also quite pleased with this game for the most part. <laughs> Other than AI teaming up on you every so often. So anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video.